All right, Mr. Jacobs, obviously I wanted to get your thoughts first and foremost. Great fight last week in New York. Yeah. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. What was your immediate reaction to that? My immediate reaction was, wow. I, <laughs> I am at awe at it. the performance, the skill set, how Ryan was able to take control and how he claimed the night. You know, I think a lot of people, no, I know a lot of people overlooked him that night in terms of maybe how the, the, the lead up to the fight was, the promotion of the fight. But, you know, he's one of these new age kids where he takes control of his marketing. And, and he did the best that I've seen anyone do it. And also dominated in a performance to where you can't question him anymore in terms of his skill set, his abilities, and with all that, you know, he can do moving forward. I mean, that's the thing. I think even if he thought Ryan was going to win, I don't think a lot of people thought he was going to win this convincingly. Yeah, it was in a stellar fashion. You know, with that said, we always, unfortunately in boxing, one loss defines a fighter. And it's a tragic thing because it shouldn't be that way. Sure. For Devin Haney, what would your words of advice be for him, you know, to rebound from this? I mean, just understand who you are, right? And when he's gotten to before the loss with Ryan Garcia, you gotta believe in that guy, but also understand that sometimes you can go back and change certain things on the drawing board. And as all fighters, even the greats that have five, six, seven losses, they go back and change certain things that, that, that they can go inside the ring and have more success. But then it also too, understanding what styles are best suited for you too, you know? But Devin Haney has a tremendous future ahead of him done so much for the sport of boxing and uh, I don't think he should be disappointed but more so look back and see how he can change things in the future. 100% and as a boxing fan, what would you rather see? Ryan in the rematch for his tank or the rematch with Haney? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, I, I'm a big, big fan of tank so I would love to see the rematch but I think guys, you know, this is also a business. You, you go, you fight another fight, you, you get another big payday and you create more hype around yourself and around future fights, I think you got to work yourself. And I don't think he should go into anything immediate that uh, maybe like a tank that, that already beat him. I think he should kind of learn as he continually go because with that fight, I'm not sure if it was a weight thing, if it was a skill thing, but obviously he got dominated. So work your magic, you know, work that pizzazz and continue to build yourself as you climb the ladder until you get into these uh, risky fights. You know, speaking of getting back into the ring, I wanted to, you know, get your thoughts on your, yourself yeah, yeah, specifically. Yeah. I mean, you've accomplished so much, you've done so much, yeah. you're a legend of the game. Yeah. What more is there for you to do? Why a comeback, essentially? I think for me it's because I want to be able to come back and end my career in such a fashion to where I started it, you know? And um, for me, I have so much too left inside the tank where I needed a break to be able to get into the mental capacity of balance. And now I'm at that state and I see such great fighters in the super middleweight division that is potential opponents for me. So for me, yes, that's the reason. I want to be able to end my career in a, in a really big fashion. And um, knowing that I have the possibility, I still have the name, I still have the skill. Uh, but most importantly, having the right mindset now moving forward, I think it's going to be excellent for me in my ending of my career. You know, and obviously like Canelo, people say, and I agree with this, he's at the stage of this point where he can pick and choose who Absolutely, he wants to fight. Yeah. I think you also have merited that rightfully yeah, so. Yeah. Do you have a short list of some of those names that you would like to face? I mean, there's a, there's a tons of guys in uh, the super middleweight division or in the middleweight division or even in 175. Uh, I think whatever makes sense. I have the greatest manager in all of boxing. Shout out to Keith Connolly. And I, I trust and allow him to guide my career in such a way where it's beneficial to me and my family. So moving forward, I don't have anything that I want to say or anyone that I want to call out because until it's signed, sealed, and delivered, you know, it's, all, it's always an option. Of course, at the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for you. Sure. You know, I was speaking to Jim Lampley the other day, and he mentioned to me, and it was pretty interesting because a lot of people say, oh, who's the pound for town number one, the face of boxing? Yeah. And he said, Canelo is the face of boxing in terms of dollar for dollar, sure. but not pound for pound. He said it was Crawford. Sure, yeah. What's your take on that? I agree with that 100%. Um, you know, Crawford's undefeated. He speaks a really light top-notch guys, especially the performance and how he handled Spence. I mean, he completely dominated Spence. And I think that catapulted him to be able to be pound-for-pound pound, uh, best boxer in boxing. 
but in terms of marketing, that's a totally different conversation. And so you got some of these guys who have, you know, countries following them, supporting them, and no matter who they fight, it's going to be a sellout. That's a different type of thing. So you have to have categories of what's what, you know. But I do think Canelo is a part of the list of pound for pound. But I don't think that he's a top pound for pound fighter. No, I agree with that because I mean I think a lot of people say, oh, it's only what you do in the ring, but it's more than that. It's how you draw the money, the entertainment value. There's three factors, and what you do yeah. obviously in the ring. Absolutely. Yeah. Speaking of Canelo Munguia, I wanted to get your thoughts actually on the B side, on Munguia specifically. As a fighter, who better to speak on it? What would you say are the keys to victory for Munguia to defeat Canelo? Just do what he know how to do best. But if there comes a point in time where you have to adjust, understand what it takes to adjust to create a different look for yourself, to be able to give your best foot forward. But to me, I, you know, I don't honestly see, because I've seen him fight one style his whole career. And so for me, it's just about being able to give your best. If I could give him any advice, just, you know, Mexican style is to leave it all in the ring. And, and blood for blood, you know, punch for punch. Just make it an entertaining fight, which I'm sure he will, you know. But I do think that Canelo is, just a notch above the skill level of Mangia, as good as Mangia is. 100%. And, well, obviously, we look forward to that, but we also look forward to your comeback, Mr. Jacobs. Thank I you. appreciate the time. I appreciate the time.